our top five Tom Hank movies. This you was a tough first because this this was tough. This, this is the toughest, tough. maybe the toughest list we've ever done. This might be the toughest. How, how, how do you encapsulate Tom Hanks in the top five yeah. of all time? This is really easy more... as a top 15, like not even like it's not even hard to do a top 15 for him. Uh, no, so many good films just... got left off of. Please do not leave negative comments in my in my down below about Dude, me. Because... I mean, one of the films I left off is like, it's insane that I left it off. But Oh my gosh, I'm looking at my list of movies that I left off and all of them are like Academy Award winning yeah. movies. But yeah. this is really a personal list of mine. It's per- same as me. I'm going, off of, I'm going off of what I like him the most in. So I'm not necessarily saying this is his five greatest roles. I'm saying- I'm not going to argue at all. Yeah. So number five is Philadelphia. I, I think- that was such a revolutionary film for him. Okay. Because, okay. because that was, he, he, he was a comedic actor before this. So this was his first serious role. So I think in terms of his career, this is, this is the pivotal film. So I think he did big right before this or really man with the one red shoe. I don't know. Something like that. So Philadelphia was his first like pure serious role. And then he won the Oscar for it, of course. Mm-hmm. And that was his first Oscar of three in a row or something like that. Um, my number four Again, just a different role than he's ever been, but it's Road to Perdition. And mm. the film itself obviously is amazing, but this is when he's, this is probably one of his darkest characters. And, you know, he's a gangster and, you know, it's excellent film. And yeah, my- oh, Hold on, you're right. My number he three- did, Hold on a second. I, yeah. Yeah, he did, he did Philadelphia right before Forrest Gump, but right after Sleepless in Seattle. Oh, so. Sleepless in Seattle, that's a romantic comedy. Yeah, but exactly. But that was his first real, like, sort of. He's great in Sleepless in Seattle. I I hated cutting Sleepless in Seattle off, too. Uh, My number three, again, just a different role, iconic film, but just a different role than he's been. And it's a league of their own. And he was a drunk baseball coach, you know, you know, chewing out women. And we hadn't seen him like this. And so, again, not only do I just love the film itself, but I loved his character specifically in this. And we really got to see, we started to really see the range in, in Tom Hanks. And this is again, right. the early nineties, right? Right. My number two is probably my favorite film of his, but this was like, to me, I think this is the film that made him like a star and it's big. It's, it's big. I mean, I don't think I need to explain it. I mean, big is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, Hundred percent agree. This is one of the first films that made me feel different emotions. Um, you know, both sad, like uh, it, it just. Again, I was like six years old, I think, when this movie came out. So, you know, under or maybe eight. I think it came out eighty eight, maybe. But you know, again, as a seven or eight year old, like it just this movie really, really uh, hit so many different chords and like feeling feeling lost in the city. Like I just, you know, made me feel so many different ways. And again, he was excellent and just going on with the journey, you know. And then number one, I mean, it's Forrest Gump. <laughs> it's hands down, no brainer. Jenna, eh? Like what, what other, there's no other film he gets more quoted on than Forrest Gump. And obviously he won the Oscar for it too. Yeah. But I mean, look, there's a lot of yeah. art, a lot of tough choices here, but at the end of the day, I think I pretty much aced it. <laughs> That's a pretty, the end of the day was a perfect list. The perfect list. It so was well tough, done. It was a tough list, was but a well done. List. So, yeah, I can't, I can't even begin to argue with any of those because my list is, is pretty crazy and I'll give my explanations, but I will say it was tough for me with, um, with this list because each role that Tom Hanks takes on and creates and, and performs, it's, it's, it's a, there's, there's a new evolution that's behind it. And, each character that he brings on he brings something to it that he's never done before and yet you're so familiar with it that it makes it really kind of um comfortable and safe whenever you see a tom hanks movie i always feel very safe when i'm watching it no matter how perilous it is no matter how treacherous um how scared i may be um that's why there's one of the films and i'll I'll mention after your list but one of the films i left off i mean it was it was so hard to leave off because kind of like you're saying it's it's 
it's when he it's when he basically elevated to like he's the a-list guy i mean and it was his third oscar but still yeah but go ahead the the three movies that i left off that i really struggled with was the green mile which i love <sighs> yeah excellent um i thought he was excellent toy story even though it's just his voice no he, he, made it. he made it and if you see the behind the scenes you'll see how important he is to that even being a success and yep. it, he was so pivotal in that that film the other one was apollo 13 which it That's seemed the one. that was the one a, it seems such a basic role and yet he he elevated that yeah. so much that he made me care about even when he's doing that scene about the um about seeing the uh the fluorescent um or luminescent yeah. moss when he's coming in when all of the uh the lights are out on the aircraft carrier and he has to land that plane and he's talking very, I mean, the way his voice is and the way he's, he's really kind of speaking about that, that, that thing. And he's like, you know, you just never kind of know what, um, what's going to transpire. And he kind of looks at the camera and it's just his voice and he just makes you feel good. Well, Every and that, time he does a role, he makes you feel good. And that was the first role that he was not just the leading man, but like, the leading man in the film in terms of like he was the leader you yep. know and that's again that's where he elevated he because you know in Forrest Gump it's just a you know such a different role right like but he's not like it's not necessarily like the leader in that obviously like that movie is like you know he's the feather in the wind right and then obviously like Philadelphia he's he's a he's a, a kind of a, he starts out obviously as a weaker character that has to kind of stand up for himself and battle and but he's dealing with sickness and all that stuff right Yep. But this is the first film where he's not only the leading man, but he is the leader. And he, again, this is, he's a bona fide A-list star. And like you're saying, we're okay with him being our, 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 our captain, our pilot. And he's going to like, we're going to, we're going to go on this journey with him because we, we trust him. We believe in him. And yeah. Oh, that please. one hurt leaving off. I want to include that one, but I feel like I, I had to do Philadelphia over that one just because, again, Philadelphia, he had not ever done anything remotely close to Philadelphia. It is such an amazing performance. It doesn't even feel like Tom Hanks. What a that's transformation. How, that's, no, you're that's, right. Again, you're coming from, would you say, oh, Sleepless in Seattle to Philadelphia? Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's insane. What a jump. By the way, I just want to point out how how amazing is we're talking about how incredible Tom Hanks is while I have <laughs> this. Of our crime, crimes of the future background. <laughs> Get this image. Anyways, yeah. hey, here's my top five. And again, this is my personal top yeah. five. Number five is That Thing You Do. Mm, and yeah. it's it's one of my favorite movies. And he's so good in it because when I was in a band, I had a manager who acted exactly like Tom Hanks did to the T. And so when Tom Hanks, when I saw this movie and Tom Hanks came out and he acted exactly like this manager was, it struck a chord with me and it made me love this movie even more. I love the I fact that- I don't know if I've ever I, fully seen this movie. Oh my God. The music is perfect. Mu it's I know, amazing. I've heard the music, it's catchy. Yeah. Doing that thing you do. The record label is Playtone Records, which is now right. his, it became the name of his production company because of right. this movie. It's right, right, right. It has everything to do with Tom Hanks. It's almost like his branch out of him yeah. doing movies for other people and him starting to do movies for himself right so that was like number five for me number four was catch me if you can because this is right it was on. it was his a different boston movie accent's rough but what's that his boston accent's rough it it, it is rough but he's still That's why i didn't include it i think I, I liked him in the role and i liked i love the movie i, I just the accent's rough hmm especially because I've got such a fucking good Boston accent. It's just fucking hard to listen. <laughs> Dude, your, your accent's bad. It's better than Tom Hanks's. I just watched Good, uh, good Will Hunting and some of those moments are pretty bad too, but not as bad as, yeah, you're right, as Tom Hanks in that movie. But still, it's still a good role. And it's a great movie. It's a great Tom Hanks movie. It's a great movie, but we're talking about the role. That's number four. Uh, number three for me is Saving Private Ryan. And for the reasons that, that we were talking about earlier and that you pointed out specifically is, is when he reveals that he's a teacher, you know, yeah. he's somebody that you would follow into battle and die for. And yet you find out later on, he's a teacher. 
and yet he's become this person that you've you've sort of dedicated your life to it's become extraordinary all based yeah. on how from he is. ordinary to extraordinary just, just an extraordinary person yeah. no that one was tough to too it was tough that's why i put it on that's why my list is so perfect yeah. uh crushing number this Number two. By the way, me. guys, please comment on this list so far. Who who wins this one? Peter or Paul? Pretty yeah. sure I'm going to come out the winner here. There's so many that thing you do fans out there. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cling cling on to those thing you do fans. There's a lot of Platonians out there <laughs> who will rally behind me. Come on, hashtag yeah. Platonians. That's right. Number two for me is big because it's it's the movie that I grew up with. It's the movie when I was a kid. Yeah, I was like, Jesus yeah. Christ, I just want to be older. And it encapsulated every feeling that I had at that moment because um, I wanted to be big too. And boy, what an adventure. And he had so much fun. And um, Tom Hanks as an actor to be able to pull off this role, he was he played an adult, but he had such a childish aspect to the way he approached that role. And I, I've never seen an adult be able to act like a kid more perfectly than um, Tom Hanks did in this world. 100%, 100%. That's number two. Number one for me and, is- And we, we started using, uh, what was that Silly Spray? Silly String. Silly String, yeah, yeah, yeah. Silly String. Yeah, I remember spraying each other with that. <laughs> like, yeah, we, we, we copied that so many times. <laughs> yeah, you just, you just squirt out your nose. Yeah. Number one, Road to Perdition. I, I can't find a more flawless movie. I loved it. You didn't have Force Gump at all in your list? No, I know. I didn't have it. Dude, you're, I mean, there's no way you're winning. First of all, I've got the League of your League of Their Own crowd. It shouldn't even gonna, be on any top five that's list. Gonna, that's going to totally ten, support me. List. That's going to totally no support me. But yeah, honorable I mean, mention. By the way, it's not yeah, a film. Horse Cump. I mean, come on. Honorable mention is it's not a film, but it's Bosom Buddies, and that was 100 oh, percent. I'm totally it started it at and all. That's what started this. All. Yeah, I'm 100. percent If you would have put Bosom Buddies, I would have. I've been like, it's a good call. It's a good call. Bosom buddies. Yeah, we used to love watching that. 